11.27 p.m. as you can see, my eyes is red as shit. Like I've been smoking or something, but I'm not. Um, let me show you what we got here. Uh, I'm about to get upset and I'm gonna tell you why. All right, guys, so as you can see, CM and like I said, I still gotta finish tidying everything up. I actually wanna make sure that the shit gonna run <laughs> before I finish buttoning it up and everything. Which I'm pretty confident that it will. Um the only thing that I'm missing is as far as the harness. Um, there are two, there are two grounds that need to come out of the harness and run up to, run up to, uh, one of the grounds is going to run up to the, uh, computer or not, or the fuse box right here. And that's going to junction over for both of the relays. You can see it off in there somewhere. See that little jumper wire, that black one. Uh, <clears throat> everything has been soldered, been connected into the box. Everything is good to go. Uh, now I just need my other relay. I'm not sure where the fuck it went. And that's why I'm about to get upset. Because I'm pretty sure I left it on the table. And if my son was playing with that shit, I'm gonna be highly fucking upset. But it could, I could just be overlooking that shit because I'm tired, so. Uh, in the morning, we'll come back. <clears throat> we'll look for said missing relay. And we will, yeah, we'll look for said missing relay. Misplaced relay, because I'm pretty sure, like, it's not missing, it's just misplaced. Um, so yeah, we'll do that and then we'll come back and we will run uh, the two grounds that it's referring to. Not exactly sure, these are like some extra grounds and shit. So, if anything, we'll just take two of these. We'll run them back up this way, extend them so that it can run here and then run another one for the OBD2. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Like I said, I don't know where the fuck that other relay at. I, I know that I cut both of them off like this. The other one didn't have all the fuses on it, so it couldn't stay. So I know it wasn't stuck off in there. But now I don't know where to fuck up. Oh, I think I just seen it. <laughs> I right, bet we good. We in a trap hands. Hallelujah. <laughs> I was like, yo, where the fuck? Where the fuck is that other thing? All right. Let's see, hold on, give me a sec. All right, so, boom, there it go. Two fuses, I mean, not two fuses, two relays, four fuses, all wired up. We'll come back tomorrow 
in the morning. We'll run those grounds on this bitch. That'll be done. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the OBD2 port until, like I said, uh, tidying it up, making sure that this bitch is gonna run. So that's where we at with that. So this uh, will be right back. Cut you back on. Two, three, two. About complete. The only thing we have to do is wrap this bitch up. As you can see, there are two, two grounds. These are the two grounds that I ran up. There's one right there, and there is another one. So those two are, um, yeah, this one goes to the actual fuse block, as you can see there. And then this one will go to the OBD2 port, like that. And then you got your other wire for the OBD2 port. Uh, well, actually, yeah, the yellow is the power. The green is, the, well, no, that's the vehicle speed. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. That's a TCC switch. Vehicle speed, what is this damn wire? I know it's right here somewhere. Anyway, it's a wire. <laughs> it's another wire that's for the actual data. And then, so you got your data, you got your power, and then you have your ground for your OBD2 cord, and you're good to go. So, yeah, man, just gotta wrap this thing up. Uh, next video, I'm gonna try to bring y'all. I'm gonna try to get, I don't know which vehicle I'm gonna put it on. Probably the Capri, since that's where it needs to go. Uh, I'll go ahead and get that put together, and then. We'll get that installed and you'll see what happens. Yeah, I want to show you how far I ride this bad boy up. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to finish taping it up so I can kind of get a better picture of shit. Uh, or a better idea of you know, how it's going to go. So that's all the pieces. Put some room around that shit. Room up the rest of that shit and it'll be good to go. But yeah, what I did want to show you, all probably one of the most important things. I think it might not be the most important thing. You know, everybody got a difference in the and shit. But what I want to do is pull off this relay right here. See, that's where the ground goes. I want to make sure that we got continuity. Make sure that we got continuity to that ground because that ground is going to keep all this shit from burning up. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm dead ass serious. Uh, if it's not grounded properly, then uh, we can run into some issues. So let's see if we can stick a phone off in here. Yeah, see if we can get that tested out. So we're going to test the leads right here. As you can see, I got it resting on there. Hopefully that's a good enough connection. And we'll come over here, put it in a block. Yes. And that's what we want. So make sure it's grounded. Um, that one ground. That one ground, I believe, is hooked to it's three is like three grounds. I want to say that all of them are connected to together, which give it like a really good ground. So as you can see, that was the first one, that one right there. And if we did this right, then everything should be grounded. So it should be one more. It should be this one right here. And I know that's something that I've heard a lot of people say, like, oh, you gotta have three grounds or whatever. So 
I'm not really sure, but as long as these all got connectivity, um, there's one less thing I have to worry about. So yeah, done. So that's across all three of my grounds. One, two, three. They all have connectivity. takes care of all three of those. Like I said, we're gonna get some fuses, uh, get this taped up and stuff. And then, like I said, next time you see it, it should be on the vehicle and we should be cranking it up. And hopefully it'll start. Hopefully it'll do something strange for a piece of change, so. It's your boy, LSRI254. Uh, this video is coming to an end.